Hello, friends, and welcome to the channel. I'm Handington, and today we are playing more Cookie Run Oven Break, the Joyful w Winterland update. Welcome. So, as you can see here, this is a wonderful uh, splash intro screen. I love this so much. We have Cotton Candy looking at a newspaper. We have Goth Maid looking out the window. Stuff, I it went away, so now I can't comment on it, but, you know, looking at it is a lot of fun. It's it's great. I love this so much. Uh, I am still absolutely exhausted. We're still in the middle of doing the whole huge room projects and trying to finish up those and all that jazz. As Barry B. Benson says, you like jazz? I don't... <laughs> I mean, I like jazz, the music, but not this jazz, because our house is so full of so much junk. <sighs> oh, boy. We're borderline hoarders, except my father doesn't quite keep, like, the the same type of garbage that my sister leaves in the room that, like, act like Q-tips and use tissues and food in the room. That's what my sister has done. And there's lots of stuff just all over the place that I've had to clean up. It has been so bad. I've had to work with my stuff, her stuff, and his stuff. And as bad as I feel about keeping a lot of, like, uh, clutter, like, <laughs> having gone through all of this stuff, I realize, oh wow, you know what? No, I'm not really that bad. I'm not as bad as I thought. I keep trinkets and things that I could use for videos, but I get rid of so much stuff that I don't need. I was a bit worse when I was younger, where I'd keep some extra boxes of things that I didn't need, but as I've gotten older, I've just been getting rid of things. But my sister still has tons of Amazon boxes in the room. My father constantly has so, so many things. He has papers from 20 years ago that he's never looked at and isn't interested in. And he still just keeps it because he just doesn't want to throw it out, even though there's no use and it just takes up room. Whereas my stuff that I keep, like, I could use it for a video. I could use it with friends. Like, I, if I could actually, like, live better, I could use this stuff. And now that the project is going so much better and I can actually see a future where I can use my stuff to the fullest and just have some more peace of mind, honestly, it's going to be nicer and I'll be able to actually utilize it more. So, hey, we may get more videos in the future of me showing off more, uh, more stuff that I have. I've been exhausted. My father stepped out of the house for a brief moment, so I'd said, you know what, I'm taking a break because I have been cleaning practically nonstop. Thanksgiving... I've been I've worked in the room the entire day, only stopping for us to go to Applebee's for dinner. We were going to go to Boston Market, but the line was ridiculously long, so we decided we'll go to Applebee's. And it was actually, like, we had no line at Applebee's. Uh, it, it was crowded, but it wasn't packed, so we got a chair, like, immediately. And it was great. So... That was, that was a nice thing. And then I got to have Friendsgiving with my friends afterwards on Friday, which was also better than Thanksgiving and a nice break. It was like an actual good break, and they were awesome, and my they were my high school friends, and it was just great to see them all again and just have a nice time. So that was good. The air in my house is oxygen and dust, and that is all it comprises of. It is so dusty, it's like a fog dust, except you can see through it. Uh, like, it doesn't, you, you, it doesn't look dusty if you look at it, but if you breathe it, it's dust. You just breathe in dust. I cough up dust when I'm not in the house. Uh, I am constantly sneezing and coughing in the house. Um, it's awful. I blew my nose right before I started this. I'll probably have to blow my nose again at some point later. Um, and this is after we've aired out the house as well. There is so much dust. It is so awful. And speaking of dust, there's some magic powder as the ingredient. Life is pain. Life is torture. All I know is pain. <sighs> but my office is, space is now going to be in my room. And I'm going to try and adjust everything to make the room look really nice 
and much more functional now that, like, it's gonna be my room, which is really cool. And my sister's getting her own room, we're all doing this for her, and she's getting it, uh, she's getting it new furniture, but I, I'm getting the old furniture, because, like, why let the old furniture go to waste? It's still good. So, I'm gonna use that, and, um... The project is still not finished. There is still more to do, and even after my sister comes home, which she's going to be coming home soon, so yay. But even after that, there's still going to be even more work to do, so it has just been so much stuff. It doesn't even feel like it's Christmas because of just how much work I've been doing, but it snowed yesterday, um, and the, a very light snow, and it's not on the sidewalks and the roads, so it's nice, just a light little dusting. And... Cookie Run feels very Christmassy, so this game helps me to feel like I'm in the Christmas spirit. And the first Christmas special I got to watch was actually the Ice Age Christmas special. It's so bad. I love it, though. That was just when Ice Age is starting to tip. Like, it was. it's after the third movie. Um, I may make a review on it, because it's both... It has some genuinely funny moments in it. And has some, like, cute little fun Ice Age moments. And then there are points that are so bad. Like, they don't know what the word season is, but they know what Miami is. <laughs> it's, like, it's bad in terms of a world-building context. It's it's great. Um, so that was the first Christmas special that I got to see this year. I didn't get a chance to see Rudolph, unfortunately, when it was on TV. If they stopped showing those Christmas specials, I think the world would collectively be a little bit sadder. But I was able to see that, and it was just like, oh, this makes me happy. I took a break to, to watch um, a little bit of the TV on Sunday night. So I saw The Simpsons, even though it's still not really as good as it had been, even in mid-Zombie Simpsons. Uh... But it was interesting because they had a Flanders episode, which was kind of interesting, at least, for them to shake it up a bit. And I saw the Bob's Burgers. It was a good episode. Bob's Burgers is pretty much always good. I need to watch more of it. And I have just been mentally and physically dying. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Anyway, so... I decided, hey, chestnut and pudding cookie are going to be coming to Oven Break. It's wonderful and amazing, and I love this very much, so I wanted to check out the update, at least while I can. Oh, I need to blow my nose. Hold on. Come on. Come on. Okay. <laughs> <coughs> and we're back. I've blown my nose so much... It is so sore. It's like I have the allergy season. I'm sorry I'm not recording me. Oh, I'm not having sneezing fits, but I'm just sneezing a lot. And the reason why I say I'm sorry I'm not recording me is because that video of me sneezing sped up is one of the most popular of my channel videos. It's like, why? I worked so hard on the Doki Doki series, and this me sneezing gets at least over 200 views. Uh, why? So, actually, that, that video is also one where you can see our old office space a little bit better, because I was right next to the uh, the garbage can. But, oh, <sighs> my nose hurts. Uh, my body hurts from sneezing and coughing a lot. It feels like I'm sick, except I don't have a, th a sore throat, which is what I would prefer, at least. So, I'm glad I haven't gotten sick yet. Plus, uh, after getting my flu shot, at least I'm not worried about getting the flu. Uh, I got it a while back. Uh, I haven't even started the episode. <laughs> anyway, I I can't do a live stream. No, I can do a live stream. I've been so busy I haven't been able to edit episodes. So I can't do a live stream out of the sense that I should be making this an episode for the day instead of a stream and then an episode. I, I know I've been doing that a lot, but just things have just been so hectic with stuff at my house that I just haven't been able to, I, I just haven't been up to streaming as much. I know I did the one at night, which worked out. I can't do that right now because I've, I spend a lot of time staying up late, trying to work more on cleaning up. It's just never ending. It's so much stuff. Uh, I may post, uh, 
on Twitter like a, a little before and after of what I've been doing in the room and then an after the after uh, once we get everything together. But things have been torture. So I really appreciate all of you being so supportive, even with me having to just make whatever that ends up happening. You guys are such awesome people, and I'm so lucky that you're my fans, and I'm so happy to be able to provide videos, and I'm so happy that people like them. I'm happy to be able to spread a little bit more joy in the world. Ups. Success! I was able to pause the video before the text message came. I am so happy. Yes. Okay, so in terms of updates, yada yada, lots of stuff has been going on. Y the YouTube channel finally hit over 100,000 subs, which is awesome because now we'll get to learn what Dark Choco Cookie's hair conditioner is. Which is awesome. That's a that's a running joke on the channel because Mick Mac had said that like, oh, if we reach like uh, you'll you'll learn what the secret of his hair. You just watch the channel. Uh, and now that they've reached that amount, they're going to give everybody who's played the game extra crystals depending on how many people can subscribe to their channel. So I've already subbed. If uh, nobody else subs, we're gonna all get a thousand crystals, which is awesome to celebrate. And they're gonna celebrate any extra ten thousand milestones by giving out more crystals. So that's awesome. I don't know how far we're going to get, but we'll see. I imagine we might be able to get the first tier, uh, uh, 110,000 subs. I, I can easily see that happening. So this, this event will go until something December. Oh, well, that's not too long. They really expect us to get that many subs in just a few days. It's kind of unrealistic, Dev Sisters. I'm sorry. Complete the newspaper. This is one of the cutest events I have seen, and I love this. They, we now have a little Yeti bear jellies, which I think is so cute. Uh, and look at the little puff, available only through guild runs. So that's the new guild setup. We have the adorable chestnut cookie. Um... Paragon Aura, Paragon Zoe, had once described me as a 1950s paperboy. Yeah, this chestnut cookie is very much me. And when he puts on his paperboy hat because his head has a little chestnut spike, it just breaks the hat. It's so cute. I love him. Extra, extra, read all about it. I just have Dan Avedon doing the paperboy voice in my head, and so now that has become my paperboy voice. I gotta sell these papers. Oh no, don't kick me, I'm crippled. No, don't steal the papers. <laughs> I need to watch more Game Grumps again. I haven't been watching them recently. I've skipped over some of the Zeldas because I didn't want uh, game spoilers, and I haven't skipped Phoenix Wright in case I ever want to play that too. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh-oh, hold on. Come on. All right, success a second time. In case you're you're watching this, that Handi Handina is texting me. I I think I I believe I had texted her that I was about to start recording, and text messages show up while I'm recording. So I was able to pause it this time, unlike the time when it was a Pattaya Dragon stream where I got the notification from my school and it's just like, ah oh, well, oh there's that. Also, Spiky, the tiny little hedgehog, is so cute. And then here, the heart warmer outfit, because this came out on November 26th, so that was the little newspaper, which so it's up in the corner over there. Uh, Chestnut Cookie is dressed up as Little Match Girl, which is so cute. And uh, Little Chestnut delivers matches. I gotta sell these matches before I die a horrible and tragic death. I'm the Match Girl. So you get bonus delivery points for setting houses on fire or whatever. I haven't I haven't used the costume because I just wanted to use his costume as the paper boy, but I bought it with rainbow cubes. The easy camera. Okay, hold on, honey, 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 honey. I love her. I read whenever she texts me things. It's just fine. But oh, she's doing it again. No, 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 no. Oh, okay. Yep, she's on there. Yep. She's so cute. I feel so bad. She's texting me. <laughs> oh, I don't want to edit this and I don't want to cut up the recording because I just need to make just another episode. Oh, I need to... I, I briefly texted her that I was going to read everything a little later. 
Uh, but this is the only time I have to record anything. Oh, now I'm conflicted and I feel bad. Ah. Uh. Um, all right, I'm just, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna, uh, yeah, anyway, um, so she's, uh, I feel bad for her, she's, she's upset, I won't go into things, but she, she's, uh, She's 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 not feeling happy. I'll 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 text her after this. Uh no, now I don't want to no, I don't want to do it cuz I'll feel bad. Okay, I texted her a little bit. I'm never bothered by her texting me. I just I just don't want it to show up on screen. Oh. Anyway, so uh, I'm trying to balance two things at once because I need to make an episode before he comes back. And I'm also trying to balance her feeling upset over something that's really not... It, it's, it's really not too important, and she knows that it's not important, but she's still upset, and it's still important to her, so I want to make sure that she knows that she's okay. And I'm trying to help her with this as well, because it's important to her, and I want to be supportive... And also, I only have a little time to record, and I'm not bothered by her texting me. I love whenever she texts me. It's just when I'm recording on my phone, it's like, it's gonna show up, honey. <laughs> oh, I'm very conflicted. Anyway, so I paused so I was able to respond to her. Please, okay, good, it, it, it's still recording. Um, all right. So the easy camera is an amazing treasure. It's fantastic. Use it. There's going to be another event going on where you get doubled treasures. They're going to get rid of the millennial tree and replace it with an, uh, a brand new uh, breakout. Or maybe it's the original breakout that they used and they're going to replace it with that. Uh, Handina loves the, bra the, the millennial tree, but it's the least liked of the breakouts. So I feel bad for her as well, but... Uh, it's, that's what's going to happen. Uh, they've adjusted the millennial tree thing so that this way it'll work. Uh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, ad additional jellies have been added to those places. Okay. They've adjusted the place places that it's a little tough. Land 8 has gotten a renewal. The costume draw will be changed a bit. Dinosaur has been fixed in the uh, millennial tree. Ocean Dragon got some kind of fix. Guild Run has changed, so now it takes a little bit longer. Uh, you, they now show all three of the ingredients instead of just the two ingredients, and then having the third is like a secret one, um, which is actually very useful. The Guild Kitchen meal effects have changed uh, a little bit. Some of them for the better, some of them for the worst. Uh, an effort now has speed reduced, but everything else seems to have an additional effect, except the Deluxe Tail, ste tail Steak... Mm -hmm. Oh, boy. Okay. Again, I'm gonna... I'll respond to her shortly. I just want to finish this. Uh, the Deluxe Tail Steak. Uh, it's no longer... <sighs> Some things aren't magnetized, which I think is a real downgrade. If you're gonna work so hard to get the Tail Steak, why not magnetize everything? Come on. But some things aren't magnetized, which is a pain. Uh, and the spicy stew, you get more points for the meal jellies. Rescuing from holes. This is frustrating, but also reasonable. This stops the really, really high-scoring people from utilizing the hole tactic in order to try and uh, get over certain parts with more points. The only thing is, now holes count as an obstacle, so in the trials, instead of falling... Mm -hmm. Okay. My poor honey... Anyway, so now if you fall down, you gotta basically restart the trial, which is frustrating instead of just re reviving from a hole, because it counts as an obstacle and you lose energy. Whoop. I really, really want to deal with this. And I can't right now because I want to make the episode while I have any sort of recording time. Uh, anyway... 
Uh, the rescues are frustrating. The ingredient pouches you can magnetize. You can now use more than one treasure incantation at once. And now the events, you can now just go directly to it, which is really nice. Um, in terms of events, I love this. The complete the newspaper event. So it's going to be twofold. You collect newspapers and ink jellies from doing stuff. Um, by, by collecting extra bonus pouches in runs uh, that contain either the newspaper or ink. So here they have um, newspaper stuff where if you get... I haven't been able to... I can't show you any of the um, cute stuff because you can't replay the, the story. Um... <laughs> Or maybe you can. Maybe it was just for the trial. I don't know. Anyway, um, you you get to fill out these, uh, the little whatchamacallits, the, the newspaper articles. So what happened is, oh yeah, you can read the story. Um, anyway, so this is this is really awesome. The top editor is a woo. <laughs> Cookie Herald front page. So this kind of reminds me of the Club Penguin newspaper where it's like just two pages, but. Um, <laughs> So you collect the newspaper and the ink, and then you're able to unlock these stories and then write out the stories. Uh, and then you can add in whatever you want here. So for, um, for BlackBerry, it's BlackBerry and somebody else. Here on my tiny phone, the words are slightly off, and you can't actually scroll down on the story. You can't see this, but I'm trying to scroll down. Uh, so the story is all very uh, messed up for the stuff like this here. But you can, there, there might be a chance that the stuff that you write on here is going to be in the, um, like, it, it'll be canon or, and stuff, which is cool. So I really like this event. I think it's really cute, and I hope this event comes back again one day in the future or something like it. Um, this is awesome. I love this. So it's like, mm -hmm. oh. I feel so bad. <laughs> Anyway, so we, we, Handina and I decided on this one, so we did the same one together, and over here I chose, uh, Pancake Cookie for this, not necessarily because I want Pancake specifically to get it, first off, Werewolf already has a magic candy, regarding my costume, which I had done for the Dev Sisters event, which I haven't even edited and put that up yet, my costume didn't win, by the way, or, excuse me, it didn't get into the, um, the, the, the choosing, it didn't get into the finals, but that's reasonable. It wasn't really that good anyway. Um, but Werewolf doesn't need a magic candy, so there's no point in that. But I thought that it made a lot of sense if Pancake Cookie was talking here, because, like, Pancake Cookie would want to say, I want a magic candy, Roll Cake has one, because, like, they're brothers. And then it was like, uh, sweet... A sweet magic candy or something? I, I don't remember. But that was great. I haven't finished this one, but one of the ads is The Secret to Dark Choco Cookie's Hair, which is amazing. Uh, I love that. Over here, the, the far farming, her, uh... The, the, look, the, 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 I can't speak. The exclusive look into Carrot Cookie's farming secrets. Carrot Cookie final, finally revealed the secrets to her farm success. Determination. I decided to put cool wins because I thought that would be funny where it's just like, yeah, the cold is helping the plants grow to be big because it's not something you would think. And business partners, <laughs> which is funny as well. So I, I'm, on t I'm on board with that. I thought determination was reasonable. Uh, instead of optimism and diligence, I was like, yeah, Undertale, determination, in addition to the fact that, like, she seems determined. Determination, determination, cool wins, and business partners. I decided, hey, Chili, oh, actually, it, this, this is the popular one. Chili Pepper has caused quite a new roar with her cute look. I thought that if any of these cookies would have a cute look, a cute new look, I think Chili Peppers would probably make the news, because it's just like... Gasp, Chili Pepper, the wanted outlaw, she now looks adorable. And now Princess Cookie uh, being like, yeah, I approve of this, would be fun. I, I also, Chili Pepper being in a cute outfit would be adorable, because like, she's feisty. So it, it, would, it wouldn't, I, I thought that would be funny. Anyway, so I have yet to do this. Also, when you scroll up, the, the cookie reading this moves their little gingerbread hands down. Sometimes they do it both at once, and other times they do it one at a time. 
like that. It's so cute. I love little details like this. It's amazing. So I have yet to do this one just yet. I use it every day. Oh, look, Milk Choco, who is enamored by Dark Choco in the background. That's so cute. Concentrated shampoo. We get to write the shampoo. I love that. All right, let's see. What should the name of uh, Dark Choco Cookie's secret hair conditioner be? <laughs> let's see. Aromatic Darkness's song. <laughs> it sounds like something out of Bed Bath and Body Works and Beyond and stuff. Yeah, that sounds good. Let's see. What should we make? I like Aromatic, but Velvety is good too. Oh, I like Velvety. Let's see. Velvety. The last one has to be Whisper. Whisper is amazing. <laughs> Velvety something's Whisper. Hmm. <laughs> average. Average Whisper. <laughs> Let's see. Darknesses. Average darknesses whisper. <laughs> Alright, you know what? I think we'll do that. The average darknesses whisper. Oh, bouquet is good too. Average darknesses song. Oh, song is good too. Mm. What to do? <laughs> Average, average darkness is rage. <laughs> uh, it should be a combination of silly and also a shampoo. So, average, he is dark choco cookie, so average darkness is, no, whisper sounds more amazing. Did you guys know about the Cheetos uh, perfume that came out on April Fools. It was a real thing, and it's amazing. I've never used it, but just it, it existing is already amazing in my book. Uh, let's do this. Average Darkness's Whisper. <laughs> just, 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 you know, just the average Darkness's Whisper. No, you know what? Aromatic. Let's, let's go with the crowd. Well, Aromatic Darkness's Whisper. Average is funny to think that it's just, you know, just an average darkness's whisper. No, I'm going to stick to my guns. It's just the average darkness's whisper. Condition shampoo. Wait, huh? That's it? Just your average shampoo? All this build up for months and now and it's just your average darkness's shampoo whisper? Everyone uses darkness's whisper. <laughs> And then New Path for DJ Cookie, which builds on the story of this new costume, which is cool. So let's see. Yeah. <laughs> Classical music. I like that. Not a concept that comes to mind when you picture DJ Cookie, is it? In a surprise announcement, DJ Cookie has expressed a blank desire to meet with blank Cookie, a well-known expert in that of the field. Which does the what does the future hold for the greatest EDM artist of all time? That is so cool. He he is EDM. Uh let's see. I gotta go with Minchaco. Of course I gotta go with Minchaco. He's my boy. Classical music, because that's what he does, yes. Um expressed a well, he's gonna be confident. Or excuse me, they are gonna be confident about DJ Cookie going up to Minchaco and just talking to him about classical music. I want classical music now. <laughs> I think that's amazing. So yeah, they that, that's something that they would do. So let's do this. Classical music. Just e e EDM classical music. A sudden urge for DJ. I can't wait to see this. Yes, that would be amazing. I want that. I'm go I'm going with the crowd on this. So, let's do it. And we get 30 newspapers to print this article. Let's do it. Are you sure you want to print this issue? Yes. 
Yeah. <laughs> Issue one published. Yay. Everyone's news. Oh, cool. Oh, my newspaper. Oh, cool. I can switch between what everybody wants and then what I'm choosing. So this is what my newspaper is. Yeah. No. This is this is everyone's news. Everyone wants Rogue Fort in the garden and puzzled. Aromatic secret bouquet. <laughs> Pancake roll cake and powerful. All right, that's understandable. Sincerity, sunshine, and love. Uh, that doesn't involve bi corporate business partners. Rock, rock star, and strong. Okay, Handina loves rock star. Ah, I should have thought of that. Hmm. Should have voted for that. I should have consulted her on that. Ah, oh, well. Let's see. So now this is my newspaper. Oh, wait, can I just... Can I ch still change it? I can change it. Okay. So I don't have to worry about that as much. Um... Rewards. So like, you get rewards for printing papers. The more papers you print, the more your choices will be tallied into everyone's news. Oh! Okay. So, I'm gonna still vote for this. Oh, you know what? No, it, I imagine she's... Well, she's gonna vote for Rockstar. Rockstar is already winning. I also am on board with Minchaco, so you know what? I'm gonna... I'm okay with Minchaco. Um... If I'm gonna change anything, maybe I would change Pancakes to Powerful as well. Because a Powerful one, that works. I'm okay with that. I thought Sweet made sense because, like, he's a sweet cookie, but... <laughs> Wanting one that's as powerful as the other one makes sense. Okay. Oh, and now we can print another one. Alright, there we go. Yeah! Printing issue two... If I close this and come back, can I reprint it? No, I gotta make a change in order to print it. So that works out. Uh, let's see. Classical music, confident princess. I want, I want more stuff here. So, let's see. Um, pancake, roll cake, yeah, I want that. Vampire, dark puzzle, I, I'm okay with that. I, I like average darkness's whisper. Um... Then again, aromatic darkness's whisper works too. I can I'll switch it out for the uh, for this at least. Should I? <laughs> Should I say something? Should I be worried? Who knows? There we go. Yeah, let's print this. Issue three published. Yay! I got another reward. All right, I'm gonna put in another vote for average. I just think it's funny. Average Darkness's Whisper. That's it? <laughs> oh, he does change it depending on the words you say. Oh, cool. Another issue published. I'm publishing a lot of issues. I'm doing the Pokemon sound. Da-da-da-da-da-da-da. Let's give a Velvety. Let's give Velvety a little love. I have You get so much ink at a time. That's so cool. So Velvety makes a uh, chestnut cookie change it. There we go. Yes, I shall print this as well. You get fewer newspaper jellies, but that's reasonable in this event. Velvety Darkness's Whisper. I actually really like that. So I think I might bounce between Average and then Velvety. <laughs> I'm not using up too much ink, but I have tons of ink, so I don't need to worry about changing it. Uh, right, I, I'm not as worried about changing it in that regard. I want more newspapers for the event. More rewards. More news. Issue 6 published. Yes. Ooh, nice. Five of the uh, thingamajigs. Here we go. Yeah. The more papers you print, the more your choices will be tallied. So it, it is cumulative, which is nice. If I can print 30, which is insane, um, I could get a pet key. And I'm going to aim for 20. Which is also kind of insane. You gotta print a lot of papers, but eh, that's reasonable for the entirety of the event, at least. Stats. Let's check out the stats. My prints? Total issues printed. That's a lot of issues. 80 papers printed for Uwu, the top editor. Wow. That's cool. Oh, I forgot to read the story. Yes, let's read the story. 
I gotta sell these papers. And I love the little theater look that this has. It's so cute. Cookie Herald, excuse, exclusive scoop. Get your copy of today's paper. More exciting news today. Wow, look at all that snow. I'd better get these deliveries over with before it's too late and I die of pneumonia. Huh? Yikes! No, my livelihood! Also the little, um, what do you call it? The little spikes in the background there next to the building and the door, they look kind of like a pumpkin face. Like two eyes, two triangle eyes, a triangle nose and a mouth. Uh, even though that's just like the spikes or a little tiny fence or whatever on top of the fence or something. I don't know what that is. A little, I don't know, those, those spikes in the background, they look like a pumpkin face. Oh, oh, oh. It's so slippery. Huh? Oh, no. The papers, they're all ruined. Now how will I be able to get the dimes for me, Mum? I can't pay her medical bills with, with if I don't have any dimes. What do I do? The ink is so smudged it's impossible to read. What do I do? And then he's like, oh, you can help me rewrite the papers. Thank you. So now we're just rewriting in the news ourselves. Mwahahaha. So what, I shall do trials. Chestnut Cookie has an adorable trial and I love it very much. How much, okay. I still have time. My father is out at least for about an hour. So it's been like, oh, 50 minutes. 55 minutes. Okay. We're going to try and do this quickly. Easy camera is amazing. I'm going to try and uh, get through some more of the trial. So it's amazing. I love this. That bread sure looks tasty. I haven't eaten since 1943. All right. So the ability, look at this. Look at how Christmassy it is. And then you ride on a bike, you tap the bike to go faster, you throw the newspapers that you deliver over to the houses, the magic candy gives you a mansion to give the papers to, and you throw that. I love that there's a little cookie gingerbread village that they live in that finally shows where the cookies live. It's nice. I like that. And then here we have little pine cones that are sharp. Spiky's ability is to make sharp ones. And look at these jellies. Those are tiny cookie jellies. I love that. I love it so much. And then there's a little wreath made out of other green jellies and using those. It's so cute and I love it. This trial doesn't even feel uh, necessarily like it's a whole big trial. It just feels like a little town that you're running in. It's so pleasant and charming. I love this. Look, there he goes. Running along, singing his song. Destroying stuff as we go along. I, I already rhymed along with along. And the camera takes a picture, stealing the souls of every object in time. I don't know if those stars are worth a lot more than the other jellies, um, but I collect them anyway. The whisk is a fantastic treasure as well. Oh, I got to tap. I, I forgot to tap. If you forget to tap, then you, you might end up missing out on an extra house. The best way to do it is to tap right when you're at the edge of the house, and then you can deliver it so that this way you don't miss it. Did I miss that... The house, the, did I miss the big mansion? I hope I didn't miss the big mansion. I don't know if I did or not, so I'm going to quit and then restart this, but I got another jelly mission, so that'll be okay. I love this trial. I love the feel of Christmas. I love fall aesthetics. I love Christmas aesthetics, and I give off a summer aesthetic myself. And I talk about the aesthetics because Handina loves aesthetics and talks about it, so I, I, now, now I'm thinking more about aesthetics. And away we go. Tricycle your way to the great beyond. There we go. Yes, deliver the papers before you collapse. Uh, that's not. I'm not making that up. He will collapse at, at the end of the run. It's true. It's sad. It's a sad truth. And now we get some more pink yum yums. And then we hop up here. Look at those little jelly cookies. They're so cute. I love that they made those special for this. Oh, see, those are the spikes there. They look kind of like a pumpkin face. Hop. I say spikes, but we're surrounded by other spikes. The little seed pods and spiky. Oh my gosh! Mint Choco is... Oh, oh there, there, we, there are cookies in the window! I didn't notice this! Oh my gosh! So there's Angel. There might be Pancake. There's some other cookie who I don't know who's back there. 
There's there's another thing there. Oh my gosh, I want to look at these, but I don't. I can't really see them yet. Gotta get that potion. That's important. So Minchaco and Coco are on that rooftop over there. Oh my gosh! Yay! Oh, that's so cute. Oh, I love that. They're in the background. Yay! You're the only things I ever ship in anything. I don't. I don't typically ship. And then I saw, um, who's my what's this? Oh, there's some other cookies there. Yay, there's Minchaco and, uh, Coco again. Yay. And then we have Blackberry in the doorway. There's Orange and, um, some other cookie, possibly. The others, oh, there's, there's Angel, there's Werewolf. That's it, Werewolf is in the window there. And then another cookie. Oh, I love that. And then there might be some others back there, which I can't quite tell. It's a little hard to tell. Oh, I saw Pirate there as well. Oh, this is awesome. I love that. I love the love and detail that goes into this game. Could orange be with lime or possibly lemon? I jumped... I have never once jumped over the bonus time. So we're not getting the high score on that. But we might as well quit because I got the uh, the other bonus mission. So, yeah, there's a little um, special newspaper you get, and it's ma the, the pouches are magnetized now, uh, or at least for, during this event period, so it's easier to get. So I got some more newspapers, and I got another bonus thing. <laughs> I feel like a, a dying paper boy right now. <laughs> so collect 200 of those. Does Chili Pepper Cookie collect treasures, or does she just steal them? She stole my wallet once. That's how me that's how me pop pop died. I didn't I wasn't able to give him the dimes to afford surgery. I still like her though. She's getting a present. I saved up me allowance all year to give presents to the the, the cookies of the town. <laughs> I love making him so swell and tragic. I'm awful. <laughs> Anyway, so the camera, it takes a picture of the screen and then throws it on there, which is so cool. I love that. And also, it just steals the souls of all objects that it sees, except for the cookie. And then it just, uh, it collects all the objects that are on screen, so it's very useful. It's so awesome, and it's so cute. I love the easy camera so much. It's very close to the treasure ring as well. Uh, I don't know what it'll be like if it's fully upgraded, because I have the treasure ring fully upgraded. Uh, the, the, the ring of fire, I mean. But, um, who knows? That, that It might be a really, really, really good treasure. It's already better than the fire ring in Trials, because it's already stronger at a lower level. Um, so use the camera instead of the ring for the Trials. But in terms of the events, if you don't have the ring upgraded, but you have the camera upgraded more, then go with the camera. Otherwise, the ring might be a better choice. I have the ring fully upgraded, so it's still better than the uh, the, the camera uh, in terms of the trophy races, but I really love the camera anyway. For, for Breakout, the camera is fantastic as well. So the camera's just a solid treasure all around. At, at, just at this point, it could even become one of the best. Ah. I slept wrong, and part of my mouth has like a... Uh, is it like a sore or something? I, I leaned wrong, and my sharp canine is up was up against it, so now that part in my mouth hurts when my tooth goes against it. I also ended up getting um, rug burn in a very unopportune place, a place that you would not normally think of getting rug burn in. I jumped over it again, twice. I never do that in the trial the few times that I've done this. I, I make it sound like I've done the trial a lot. I've only done it a little... But I've never missed the bonus time until today, and I've missed it twice. Wonderful. I've been I must, I have been good at this trial before. I'm already at Ruby 2 or whatever. Maybe I'm at... Oh, no, I'm at Ruby 3. Whoops. Yay, newspapers. I'm glad I need... I need more papers. I need more papers. Let's head over to the events. Can I print any more? Oh, whoops. Wrong events. Come on. Come on. I'm going to keep the Hero Cookie one, because I might play as Hero Cookie later in for his trial. If I have time later, I might do that. Or I won't. 
Let me see. Hold on. Breakout? Okay. That works. This way I just have to do breakout. So, now that I've gotten another thing for the magic candy, I've had such bad luck with chestnut cookies magic candy. I just keep... It failed so many times from just the, the, getting leveling up. I just keep losing it. I've, I've spent um, some extra stuff on... on um, one of the other cookies, I think, Red Bean, because I could use Red Bean in one of the guild runs. So I was like, okay, well, I'll, up, I'll pay to upgrade the uh, Magic Candy level 5. Please work. Nope. It just, for some reason, Chestnut Cookie just constantly fails. Getting to level 3 has been so hard. I've used up so many of them already. I just have the ones in here left. Okay, I have 7, 10, and 15 more. Okay. So I still got a, a decent amount to go. But, uh... Oh, and Puddin' Cookie is adorable. Hack! Another hat ruined. Poor, poor Paperboy Cookie. Little chestnut. Tricycle away. While you still can. At least my legs are still working so I can deliver the papers. We're on a mobile phone and yet we still use papers. I guess such is life. It'd be weird if all the cookies had phones. I think it's more charming that everyone has papers, and that every cookie lives in an old-fashioned... Ah, Christmas town. This is good. I like the way life is. Could be worse. I could be dying of pneumonia. Oh, wait, I am. Well, I could be dying faster. Away I run. Hop over the garbage. Become huge so that I don't die by the spiky seeds that fall in my path. I so sure wish that I could go inside and enjoy my life like the other cookies do. But I gotta sell papers to save me, Mum. Look at the little bridge. It's so cute. You walk over it. Except that bridge. You don't walk over that bridge. Thank you again. Great timing. Tappity, 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 go faster. Faster, I say, child. You must deliver papers at breakneck speeds. I'm triking as fast as I can. Eh, eh, eh. I wish I could deliver all my papers that fast. And over the, over the bridge I go. Over the river and through the woods to grandmother's house we go. Over the meadow and through the bridge or something like that. We were we, we we were too poor to learn how to sing songs correctly. I grew up in a, in a small alleyway. It's actually coming up. We'll see the alleyway in a second that I I was born in. The alley is coming up soon. Just be patient. Yay, money. Too bad I have to give all this to my editor. Oh, right there in the pumpkin alley. That's where I was born. Yay! I get to collect the gummies. But I also have to give them to my editor so I don't get to keep them all. And away I run. Oh, look, there's the little wreaths. They're so cute. I love the little aesthetic. No, no, it's not aesthetic. I just keep saying aesthetic. I love the look that they have. That they, they, they made those jellies so that it would make a wreath. And the trees. It's so cute. Oh, look at all that bread. Well, another night I starve. Tricycle, trusty tricycle. Away. Paper, paper. Another paper. To the fancy mansion of paper. You get another paper. You get a paper. And then you get two. Uh, you, you both get papers. Oh, look at all the Scrooges on those motors, motor trikes, or whatever they are. Just rolling along, trying to kill an innocent paper boy. Oh, look at all the cars also trying to run me over. Jolly good. I just have me pet hedgehog as my only friend in the world. Oh, thank you for pausing and not running me over. Now I will do my part in jumping over your car. Where are you all driving to? How did you get up on top of that ledge if there weren't any roads? Oh, well, I'm not paid enough to ask questions. <laughs> and now I've got me another 
potion. Oh, hey, we're going to do it. I must ride. Papers. Got to deliver all the papers. Papery paper. Paper. Mansion. Paper. Paper. Hendington, your phone is ringing in the background. I gotta pause this. So that was one of the most unhelpful phone calls I ever could have received. So the insurance or something had called, and my father not being in the house, he's in charge of all of our insurances. So I picked up the phone, and it had said, gave me a whole list of things. You, you could press three to choose a message, uh, to, to leave a message. So I pressed three. Uh, excuse me, uh, for them for them to, to leave a message. So they said, thank you for leaving a message. And then the, mes the automated message they gave me was in Spanish. I didn't select Spanish. I didn't say Spanish. I didn't push a button to load Spanish. They, they, the, the rest of it was all spoken in English, and then suddenly the message was given in Spanish. So I was not able to write it down fast enough because... I know almost no Spanish, especially not a message that quickly. I know numbers, and then when they gave the numbers, it was a bit too quickly, and I was so taken aback by the fact that it was in Spanish that I didn't immediately start writing, because I was like, oh, wait a minute, this isn't English. I don't understand what's being spoken here at the moment, because my Spanish has failed me. Ten years of Spanish, and I remember almost none of it. Now I need to check. He is not back. Okay. I'm going to record this in the other room uh, still just to make sure so in case he comes back I can hear. I am recording, right? Yes, okay. So I think we'll do one more run of Chestnut Cookie and then I'm going to have to call this an episode. We're doing very well so far in the route, though. I might be able to get up to another uh, another rank. Oh no, the car. I don't want to get run over. Oh no, the crow. Don't attack me, Crow. I've already been attacked later, earlier today. Oh, I fell over and my hat did fall over. And you know, had mentioned that. Well, there goes my life. In a nutshell. Handington is walking around the house while he's playing the game. So his, his voice can sometimes echo a little bit. It might, depending on the room that he's in. Because when Handington walks into the echoey room, then Handington's voice kind of reverberates from the entire place. It's so weird because this room doesn't normally echo, but because we have so much furniture out of it at the moment, since he has so much furniture out of it at the moment, it tends to create a really weird echo effect, and it just feels like it's otherworldly. Because it's his own house, and, you know... It ends up echoing in a room that he's been in for years that hasn't echoed. You never think about how the stuff in your room tends to insulate the sounds. Oh, what do I know? I'm just a paper boy. Oh, look at the beautiful spinning wheel. I wish I could have that money. I'd use it to buy bread and more dimes so that I could fund for surgery. Oh, wait a minute. I could just use that money for the surgery. I don't have to buy dimes with it. You know, in hindsight, I've been buying dimes for years. <laughs> I buy dimes at a dollar a piece. I think I realized there's a little lapse in my logic here. I never, I was too poor to go to school. I never learned good money management. management. I've been buying dimes for a dollar each for years now. <laughs> I could have been using that money for surgery. This is awful. <laughs> I've been exchanging it with a nice bank teller in the alley. And then the bank teller pops off, and it's just Chili Pepper Cookie wearing a mustache. She goes, the jig is up. No! And then runs away. Come back here with my money. You've been stealing it for years. 
<laughs> he throws newspapers at her. And then he goes, Oh no, wait! I need those to get more dimes from my editor. I can't go wasting them. <laughs> wait a minute! <laughs> and then he runs to the newspaper place. And the editor is also Chili Pepper Cookie, who takes off a James Jonah Jameson mustache as well, and goes, Drat, the jig is up again! <laughs> and then leaps out the window on like a, on like a, a, a string to, to, to fly down to the, the street, and he's like, Curses! I've been boiled again! <laughs> 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 I'm terrible. <sighs> oh, I'm feeling lightheaded now. Okay, I think this is a good point to end this. So thank you, friends, for this. But I believe it's that time again, friends. Friends, I'm, 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 I'm on loop. I'm going into syndication here. Not in terms of episodes, but in terms of my mind going laps. My mind looping. I wonder if the dust has gotten to my brain yet. Who knows? <laughs> we give her a cupcake. She thanks us for the cupcake. Gotta end it now. Bye.